Hey, it's Vaughn, and welcome to a brand new edition of Fallout Force Hidden Treasures, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not even sure what to call this one, but it is super cool, and I had no idea it existed. So thank you very much to Nate K for messaging me about this on Twitter. So basically, if we come back to the Museum of Freedom, which is, of course, where we met Preston Gravy. Uh, yes, I'm saying gravy on purpose. Uh, yeah. There's a secret hole, if you remember where the Deathclaw popped out of, you can actually go into that hole. So I guess it's not really secret, but I had no idea you could do this. So this is where the Deathclaw pops out of. By the way, uh, spoilers, I, I guess. But uh, yeah, a Deathclaw pops out of um, this hole very early on in one of the early quests in the game. And you kill it, and then you go on your way. Like I said, I had no idea you could actually go inside of it and explore inside of it. And apparently there's something definitely unique inside of it. I said inside of it like four times within the past ten seconds. Anyways, I'll show you guys where this is on the map. This, of course, is the Museum of Freedom. Up here is going to be Sanctuary. And you want to walk right to this point and head inside. So I'm not really sure what to expect at all other than one specific item that we'll be looking for. I'll go into Sneak. Take out my deliverer, and looks like we have Concord Civic Access. That's what it's called. Alrighty. So, looks like we just have a normal sewer location. We've seen this type of uh, location before. Oh, but it's turning into a building. Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, we have a giant hole in the wall leading to the right there, and also a chain door. Usually you don't see chain doors at the start of a location, so that's sort of interesting. Okay, we've got a room over here. Not seeing much. A toolbox and a first aid kit, as well as a skeleton. And a vault tech lunchbox. More skeletons. Okay, let's see where this door down here leads. Although I think the meat of the location is to the right. Okay, let's see, we've got a lantern, and not much else, and this leads to the right as well, so maybe the two paths converge? Okay, I'm not sure if that noise came through. Yes, I was going to say, I just heard a terrible, terrible noise over there, looks like it belongs to some mole rats. Okay, looks like we've got even more, or at least one more, maybe we can see him, maybe not. Um, okay, looks like that hole in the wall leads to the room we were just in, but I need to double check to make sure we're not missing anything. Yes, indeedy. Alright. Oh, looks like we did miss something, though. This room right here. With a duffel bag, a dead Brahmin, a human leg. Very nice. And a soft shell Myrler. Okay, deeper we go. Hold still, mole rat. I need to end your horrible, horrible life. Where'd you go? And what is that in the distance there? It's definitely moving. Probably a mile Okay. Let's move on. Can't go in there. Maybe there was an animation of those mole rats breaking through and I'm not sure. Can we go in here though? No, it looks like it's the same exact thing. So yeah, I did mention also that this place is um, an unmarked location. And just like the mole rat den under the red rocket um, rest stop or whatever it was right called, I had no idea it existed. And also, the, apparently, there's a place in Sanctuary, which I have known about, but I haven't actually been inside myself. Okay, we've got a ladder leading up. What is this stuff? Looks like nothing. Where does this lead to? The Commonwealth. Alright, maybe we'll exit through there after we're done with this place. But for now, we've got more avenues to explore, don't we? Okay, so I think that thing in the distance that I saw was a Mirelurk. We should be able to tell very shortly here. I really don't know what loot this place holds other than that one uh, unique thing that I was talking about, but we definitely want that one unique thing. It is indeed a Mirelurk. And our sneak shot does quite a lot, but the rest of our bullets do not. Okay, let's go over here. Was that a legendary rad roach? No, it wasn't. That is one big freaking rad roach. Okay, where is this leading? Looks like another exit going to guess to the Commonwealth. Yes, indeed. Excuse me, Nick. 
Anything hidden away in these corners? No, so on the loot front, not too much so far. But uh, honestly, I think this one is more about the location rather than the loot. I don't think we've been over here yet. Even more skeletons. Trying to make sure I don't miss anything on the ground. Alright, I think we can get out of sneak for now. I think this place is uh, pretty low leveled. Toy alien, toolbox, and a first aid kit. Alright, let's make a sprint back to where we were. Okay, let's see. We weren't down there. Can we get into that little room? Looks like we can. We have a door that we can't access and an explosives box. Alrighty. Let's move on towards this mire lurk. Dead Raider over here. Okay, let's see. We have not been in here. Not seeing much, though. There is a bed. And a steamer trunk. And looks like here it is. This is what I was talking about. A Taboo Tattoos magazine. This along with the... forget what the magazine is called. Maybe it's Hot Rodder. Um, gives us a pretty unique bonus here. Permanently unlocks a new unique facial tattoo. Eagle's Nest Caw. So yeah, that's what I was referring to. Um, those are my favorite type of magazines to get, along with the paint job ones. And it looks like that might actually be it. So yeah, as far as loot goes, this wasn't the best place, of course. And there's a box up there, if we can get to it. This is Cap Stash, too. Um, but yeah, if you want to get all of the unique, uh, you know, facial features and tattoos and, and, um, and stuff like that, you'd have to come here to get that magazine. Um, I'm going to make sure that we're not missing anything, and I will see you guys in a split second. Okay, we did actually miss one thing of note, and that was a fusion core back here, as well as the Vault Tech lunchbox that I already opened. It's hidden away right here, but there is a fusion core. So before we end this episode, let's actually leave through one of the ladders just to see uh, where it puts us. And I think there was one over in this direction, if I was not mistaken. Alright, where are we? Looks like we came out of there, and we are in the middle of Concord, it would appear. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, well, that was the Concord Civic Access. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. I definitely did not, like I said, I did not know that that place even existed. So, super excited to find out about that. Thanks for watching. Again, leave any and all suggestions in the comment section below. I will explore any location that I deem worthy that is not quest-related. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.